Hello everybody! Today in this video I will play a little bit with this device. Uh, this is some thermoelectric generator, which means if one side is cooled and another side is hot, you will generate some electricity. So larger is the difference of the temperature of each side, uh, more power you will get. So I know that this device is not really efficient, but anyway, I will play a little bit because I have this device for some time and uh, I was not sure what to do. I mean, in what project uh, I will use this thermoelectric generator. But in this video, I will make uh, some heater on this thermoelectric uh, generator. Uh, I will make a heater out from conductive ink. So in basic I will add two copper strips on each side and I will paint with the conductive ink. Then I will uh, connect to my power supply. Uh, I will heat a little bit and I will see what I will get out from it. So in basic what I will do I will add these two copper strips on each side Really nice. Okay, the another one. It's a little bit hard. Making this with the gloves. Okay. So now I have two copper strips on each side and now I will paint with the conductive ink. And actually that's it. So I will wait that this thing will be dry and I will connect to my power supply to see what I will get out from it. Okay, here is my thermal electric generator which have uh, on the top painted uh, heater. Uh, I have also connect this heat sink uh, for the bottom side. Uh, and everything I clamp together with this clamp. Uh, here's the voltmeter. Right now 
I get uh, 45 millivolts and now I will start my uh, power supply. This system is not really efficient. Uh, I mean, it's not efficient at all. But someone asked me if I can make this project uh, to show if this system can work or not. But like you see here, uh, it's not efficient at all. So right now I get 122 uh, millivolts and I put in 5 volts and half of amp so I will increase the voltage and the produced electricity will be higher right now we have 1.2 volts on the top I get 83 degrees C but I need to also some ventilator for the heatsink to cool down the heatsink uh, then you will get uh, better difference of the temperature on each side so right now I get 1.6 1.7 volts but I put in 15.2 volts and 1.6 amps Ninety one, I will increase the voltage. Now I get over one hundred degrees C. The voltage is two point two volts, two point three volts. One hundred sixteen, but I put in. Uh, 18.5 volts and almost 2 amps to get 2.5 volts so some alternative to this one uh, is if you have some thermal electric generator and you coat one side with a black paint and you put it on the sun you need uh, some heat sink at the bottom uh, to make better difference of the temperature on each side. On this side uh, will sun heat the surface and the black paint will absorb uh, the sunlight and will heat this surface. So this is some altern alternative uh, to this one which is uh, a little bit more efficient like this. But this, this one is no go. Two hundred twenty-six degrees C on the surface, fifty-six on the bottom. So because I don't have some cooling fan on the bottom on the heat sink, the entire system will get hot. So right now at this moment I generate two point six volts. And how many amps? I mean milliamps. Uh, 400 uh, this will be around 400 uh, milliamps so guys this was about this thermoelectric generator uh, which have this heater uh, on one side 
but actually you can see that this system was not really hmm, efficient uh, in basic it's not efficient at all uh, I also try this system and also I get no luck on this one uh, so in basic what I have here uh, on the bottom you can see here I made some heater out from cardboard uh, on the cardboard I I apply two, uh, two aluminum strips and I paint everything together really fast really easy uh, heater and on this heater I connect for for uh, thermoelectric generators uh, these four thermoelectric generators are connected in series uh, a little bit higher voltage uh, and on the top uh, I add some aluminium uh, it's better if you add some uh, aluminium uh, heatsink will be much much better but yeah like I said I tried this also but no luck I get I don't know one volt and half so you see on the bottom I have this heater which was really fast made on this heater I add four thermoelectric generators in series and on the top I put some aluminium I connect this heater to my power supply uh, and I put in some 20 volts and uh, 2 amps and I get out only 1.5 volts so no luck also with this one and yeah actually that's it uh, for me was this project really really interesting uh, to do I have a lot of fun and yeah if also this project is not uh, successful like I said I have a great great time to make this so guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye